Do we have many poisonous plants? My rule is assume it's poisonous unless otherwise indicating. Plants are not poisonous to get us, you know. Plants are really poisonous or have mechanical spines and things to protect themselves. They can't run away from predators. So in order for them to survive, they sometimes have different kinds of chemicals, alkaloids, etc., in various parts. So sometimes a plant can be, most of it can be edible, but some parts of it can be poisonous. Okay. And pretty much, as we say, throw a rock, you'll hit a poisonous plant. But the good news is we've lived with poisonous plants for generations, and generally a little bit of knowledge and a little bit of caution, we're all, we all should be fine. So we're standing next to a bleeding heart. Almost everyone has one of these yes. in the garden. They yes. spread very nicely. They, they do. grow easily in They the do. Land. And there's even a little native one that grows as well. And these are poisonous as well. I'd say most people have this in their garden and have no idea that it's poisonous. Uh, I'll be honest, I don't even wear gloves when I'm handling bleeding heart. And But again, if you think you know your, your skin may be sensitive, then just wear a pair of gardening gloves. Saves your skin. Okay, so I have a young dog. Yes. Who likes to chew on things. Yes. Everything, in fact. Yes. Uh, I guess I should not put him anywhere near What we the had to do, heart. yeah, we had three labs, and for the years that they were in our garden, we just put a chicken wire. It didn't look great, but it kept them off our flower bed until the plants got a little bigger. So even the hydrangeas, now they're not in bloom right now, but everybody remembers the beautiful, big, blue mop head yes. hydrangeas. Newfoundland, we have naturally acidic soil. They do very well. The colors are magnificent. They're poisonous as well. So I see a rhododendron, and I yep. know that you guys have been trying to develop all kinds of hybrid yes. rhododendrons that the moose seem to love. The moose do seem to love them, <laughs> yes. And the moose doesn't seem to know that they are poisonous. Uh, most roadies are, and of course we have we have over 200 varieties of rhododendrons really? at the botanical garden. We grow <laughs> them here. Our gardening staff don't seem to have any issues with them, and of course they're becoming increasingly popular now, especially all over the St. John's area because they do so well. All right, Anne. I see something that may not be in every garden, but we've all played with it as <laughs> yes, children. Yes, to see if you like butter. Putting it under our chin. I don't know if kids do that anymore. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Buttercups. Buttercups. Poisonous. Really? Yes. I played with them as children. I guess I just didn't eat the sap, so I'm fine. All right, so this is monkshood. We've, a lot of us have heard about yes. the poisonous Aconitum. quality yes. of monkshood. Usually there's a blue flower. Or a little pinky flower. Oh, it could be pink too. Yeah, okay. there's different kinds. And really monkshood is one of those stories of, it's a plant that Newfoundlanders have been growing in their garden since day one. So if you have something that yes. you suspect is poisonous yes. or you wonder if it's poisonous, right. what should you do? Uh, the best thing, and I've talked to Poison Control here with the Healthcare Corporation, they said give them a call and they, they don't just want you to call if you're in a panic and want to know is something poisonous. Yes, you can call for that. But also if you're just curious about not just house plants, but any items in your house. So I think people, instead of going, hmm, I think I'll try this plant, you really should know what you're doing. You should be careful you should be wary i don't put anything in my mouth unless i buy it from the grocery store the farmer's market or it's something like blueberries which i'm very familiar with 